James here from plumberparts.co.uk. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to turn your water off in your home remotely, even when you're lying on the beach having a wicked holiday. I've been doing a few videos on what we've got here behind us. So if you haven't subscribed to us already, you might wanna check out the videos we've done already in this series, teaching you how to do the pipe work underneath your kitchen sink. I was called out to a reasonably elderly lady's home last week. Look at this. Marilyn, do you know where it is in the garage? There's another, there's another tap there. Yeah, it doesn't move, mate. It's, it's she could have turned the water off not even using an app but by pressing a button just underneath her kitchen sink needless to say this product is going to be installed in her home in a few weeks time these are going to be the products I'm installing I'm also going to give you an extra little bit in this video I'm going to show you how you can be told remotely as well if there is a leak so this is going to be a great video for those who go away a lot anyway guys let's get on with the video remember to subscribe remember to hit that notification button and also there will be a song at the end of this video selected by my patrons on the ale army thursday night live stream so if you're not a part of that yet click the link below at the end of the video get signed up and i'll see you next thursday when you can directly influence what happens on this channel anyway i'll see you in the video guys let's get going and remember Remember to visit our interactive house as well at plumberparts.co.uk to learn more about the plumbing in your home. Right then guys, first things first, let's see what's in the box because once we've laid everything out, a lot of these sort of jobs can get a lot easier. The first thing we actually want to get installed and done is this iWater control hub. This is the gateway for everything coming from shore stop to and from shore stop. And it's really, really simple to set up and it's the first thing we really want to do and make sure is happening. We've got a transformer. We've got a UK plug socket, a continental plug socket there, the actual hub itself and a protective bag. And then underneath that, we've got our ethernet cable that we're going to be using in a minute to get this installed. Then next up, I've got the actual shore stop valve itself. This is what goes on the pipe work. Very easy to do, just push fit connections. They've also got a little indicator arrow telling you which way the flow should go. We can switch the water on and off straight away using this once we've installed it. So straight away, that's an improvement. We then also got the water controller. This we can actually install remotely away from the valve and use the on, the off, and also get the battery status from there. This is even better for your elderly customer or somebody who doesn't know where to turn the water off, somebody who doesn't want to use that valve, they can just turn their water on and off by pressing these buttons. Peace of mind, isn't it? For your elderly neighbor, family member, or your customer. So really, really good there. We've also got a few bits and gubbins, bits and pieces, our valves, we've got some, some of our batteries, all nicely packaged, clips and all that sort of stuff. This little baby, I'm going to keep undercover here until the end of the video. It's a remote leak detecting device that tells your phone if you've got a leak. How cool is that? I'll show you how to set that up as well today. All the tools that I use in this video, this bench, all my hand tools, and even these products that I'm installing here today are available on our Amazon store. Links below, but don't click them to the end because there might be a few things you find out you need throughout the video. Let's go. Right, let's make a little bit of room. Oh, baby. Always good to have stuff on a workbench. That's what I was sort of going on about in the other video. Let's turn our water off. The first thing I like to do is just get our valve installed. That's number one. Get that installed, very easy to do. You just watch me do it. Just cut a little bit of pipe out, get her installed, and then I'll show you straight away how the valve works just on its own as a shore stop valve. So here we go. So I've got a nice stretch of pipe here that I can install this valve on. Plenty of room. And as you can see from that, there is our flow. Now I can have this around this way, and then that's really, really easy then for the customer to quickly switch it on or off if there's a problem. So first thing I'm gonna do is just turn our water off. And that's off there. Let any pressure out. We've got a drain off here, we may as well use it. There we go, that's that all out there. So now we're just draining our cold water out of this section here. The next thing I'm gonna do is just pop these clips just to get us a little bit of flex. Even though often with the ox cutters, they should pretty much fit in here and cut without us having to move it, but I always pop one off. There we go, nice little bit of flex there now, that's what we want. Look how easy these cutters are here, absolutely class. So easy for these little sort of small areas where you can just get in there and get your cut done nice and easily. Lovely, love them. 
Now, if you've got a bit of flex in your pipe, you'll be able to spring that up. Nothing like a little bit of spit as well. Just lubricate these a little bit. There you go, you've got that installed. I know you want to go Nana's now, turning the water on, but if you do that, water's going to come out. So don't do that just yet. The next stage, once you've got this in, you've got the water off and everything, and you're happy with that, the next stage is actually easier if you keep these off the wall, because soon we're going to be fitting that up here, and it's easier if we've just got them in front of us for the next bit. So follow my lead here, otherwise you're going to get yourself in some serious mixy moves. Okay, hope that's not offensive to cows out there. Right then guys, for this bit it does help a lot if you read the instructions, because what we need to do, get this talking to the interweb. And it's fairly easy to do. All you need to do is follow the instructions, okay? Get your ethernet cable that's plugged up there now, right into the back of my router, and then plug it into the back of the iWater control hub. Once you've done that in a very echoey way, plug your transformer in, and then plug that into the back here, and then wait for the indicator lights. At this point, the green LED on top of the iWater control hub will start flashing. It usually takes about two minutes for it to connect, and then you'll see a triple blip pattern on the green LED. This indicates that the hub is online and connected to the Shorestop servers. Once you've done that, use your web browser to navigate to controlmywater.shorestop.co.uk. Click Create Account, fill in the requested information and press the Create Account button, making sure you correctly input the MAC ID, which you'll find on the side of the hub itself. It's a a good idea once you've got those set up as well to put the username and the password on this little booklet so when you leave the customer's house they've always got that there so they can get online and have a look at it. Right so we're finished with the eye control hub once I've figured out where I want to put it I'll just pop a screw in the wall and then hang it up there but for now I'm just going to keep that hanging off here like so. Now what I need to do is actually get this little beast installed. Firstly use a ruler to mark on these small blue tubes 12 millimeters each. These marks will help you know that you've got the pipe in as far as they need to be when we install them next. Make sure when you've cut the tubes that they aren't kind of oval, make sure they're nice and round, just press them with your fingers. When you push them in, it doesn't matter which way round they go, just so long as they go in nicely up to that mark. Once we've got this in here, it's a good idea to just note how much we've got here, which is a good indicator as to how far away one of these can be from where we're actually switching the water on and off physically on the pipe. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to install this just outside of the box, just there on the reverse side of here, nice and easy. I always use my own screws, but there are screws provided for this bit. And then we can pop our AAs in, just like I show you here in this shot. You can check the battery status, just hold this down. And then we use our LEDs, there we go. Full battery, all ready to go. Cool, innit? I think you're getting the gist here, guys. The installation of one of these is really, really easy. Just getting our screw through for our main cable, and then I'll cut that back, and also leave a little bit of slack for the cable as well. And then once we're finished, we know everything's working, I'll use those clips as well to neaten up the job and make it look lovely. Right, so now's the easy bit. I just log on back to our Shorestop configuration wizard, press start on here, then it says make sure you've fully installed it already. I have. Press next. Then it says press and hold the off and check battery buttons together for 15 seconds. That's off and the battery status button there for 15 seconds and put your iWater controller into pairing mode. All three LEDs on the unit flashing repeatedly. Oh, there we go. Well, let's give it a try. So I'm pressing next, and now it says pairing controller with the iWater control hub. Thank you for completing this wizard. You can access this again via the wizard link at the top right of your screen. Your dashboard will now be refreshed. Now you should have a screen that looks a little bit like this. You can see there, I'm actually already toggling the water on and off, but you can also go and download the Shorestop app. That'll be where I control and monitor the water on and off when I'm actually using this in the future. But for now, let's give it a little test from the desktop. Right, <laughs> I'm all excited. I always get stupidly excited at this point. Now I'm gonna turn the water on. Right, so that's our water back on. Just making sure we've got no leaks. Right, 
Right, okay. Right, so our water's on. I'm now gonna turn it off by clicking on this. So a bit of information for you. The sure stop system is looking for some sort of input every 90 seconds. So that means it can take up to two minutes for the valve to actually shut. It says turning water off, please wait. But think about it, that's quicker than you flying home from holiday or running around to your elderly parents' house to turn the water off. If there's a problem, you'll be able to switch the water off from your computer or your phone within two minutes. Oh my God! <laughs> that is ridiculous! Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> Look, I want you to see the tap. The tap is on behind me. But the water's off, I've got them turned off on the app. Right, click or tap the stop cock above. So I'm gonna click that now. It takes a little while to get there, but if you're on holiday, what's that? Six hour flight home, guys. So turning water on, please wait. Look, I'm just gonna sit here, you can just see it. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it a bit easier. Check this out. So it's talking to it. it takes a little while. But from doing this, if you're away, if there's a leak, how cool is it that you could do that? So it's obviously going to their server, then coming back again. Oh, there you go, it's starting to do it. Look, I've just sat here. Seriously, if the water, the water's starting to come out of the tap. Are you seeing this? This is mental. And look, look at the flow. I've only got it turned down, look. Get full flow out of it. Look, I'll turn it off again. I want to turn it off, look. Turning the water off. It's turning the water off. I'm gonna be blown away. Look, you can see the tap up there is running. I'm not going near anything. I'm not touching anything here. It's saying on here, turning the water off, please wait. So it takes about 30 or 40 seconds to get round to doing it. There you go, here you go. It's working, it's working, it's working. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna turn it off on full flow? <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. That is so, 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 so cool. That's so cool. All right, let's just say Auntie Doris is here. She wants to turn the water on because she's just come around to feed the cats. She's just got to press this button. There you go, water on. That is insane, man. She wants to turn it off. Presses the off button. And it's off again. So then guys, there you go, all done. I hope you've enjoyed, oh, of course. Got a little bit more to do, haven't we? Got a little bit of extra. How would you like to learn how to know that you've got a leak at home even when you're on the other side of the world? Well, here we go, let's find out. The first thing you need to get is the Honeywell Water Leak and Freeze Detector Kit. Now, in some of the Shorestop kits, you're gonna find it in there, so make sure you speak to Shorestop first to make sure if you've got one of these kits as part of the whole setup. Download the Honeywell Home app, and once it's loaded onto your phone, open the app up, quickly create an account, make sure you go over to your email address and check your spam and trash folders for the confirmation email and confirm your account, then pop back into the app, and create a password for your account. Make sure you enable location services for the setup, but also while you're at it, switch on notifications for the app because you'll need that once the app's installed if you have a leak. Add the Wi-Fi water leak detector from the drop-down menu and then follow the on-screen instructions to pair it with your Bluetooth, input your local Wi-Fi settings and set up the details for that particular water detector because obviously you can have more than one in a property. So there you go, it's all done. I've got it all signed up and everything. Now there is another thing I can do with this. I can install install this up next to my shore stop and then I can just pop this little rubber bung off the bottom here and instead of the water leak detector using these two probes at the bottom here, basically when water touches them, knows there's a problem, we can plug this in and then we can lay this at the bottom of our cupboard or somewhere like that so it can sense for a leak there. So look, let's pop it down here and we're just gonna simulate a little leak. Now it's really important that you don't just pour water over this or submerge it, that's gonna ruin it. This, it will only work when it's submerged in the tiniest little bit of water, when it's just a little bit sat, a little puddle being formed by a leak at the earliest point of the leak. Now what should happen then is I should get a notification through from the Honeywell app, and then what am I gonna do? Obviously I'm gonna to go to my Sure Stop page and then turn the water off. 
That's basically how this should work. So let's give it a try. So now I'm just gonna just crack that a tiny bit. So we've got a tiny, let's get, let's get a little bit more of a realistic leak. So there we go, I've got a little leak there. Those two probes on the bottom just sat here. I'll be really interested to see how this works. Honestly, I, I'm gonna be blown, hopefully about to be blown away by this. The water is currently missing it. <laughs> I suppose in the end, it's always gonna get there, isn't it? Right. I was just scrolling through another app, my lovely Instagram, to see if the notification would work. And look, there it was, it popped up there. So I clicked on it, it said leak detected, and I could mute the siren from there, but also straight away, popped off to the Shorestop app and turned the water off. Leak detected, water leak detected by Big G. Mute siren, muting may take up to a minute. And then I'm away from home, aren't I, at the moment? So I'm gonna pop over to my Sure stop app and turn the water off. This is insane really, isn't it? You think about the amount of massive insurance claims could be avoided by this piece of equipment, by using these two together. Isn't that a wicked idea? One thing I'd like to see is like app integration. It'd be nice if both of these worked in the same app um, or in one place, rather than you having to go from one place to the other. But I mean, I suppose for the sake of one or two clicks, but so, but I suppose for the sake of one or two clicks, you know, it's a pretty good thing to do. So we're just waiting for that. This can take up to two minutes. Let's turn the water off now. It's doing it now. It's actually turning the water off now in front of us. The crazy thing was, once the water was turned off and I dried out the leak, I then got a message through from the Honeywell app telling me that the leak had been resolved. How cool is that? So there you go, guys. Just by getting these products here that I've got on my Amazon shop right now, you will be able to protect your home while you're away, but also you'll be able to know when there's a leak and get a remote notification of that straight to your phone and then turn the water off, saving possibly thousands of pounds worth of damage. I mean, come on. But also, if you've got an older relative or you're an older person or you've got a customer who you want to be able to turn the water on and off easy, they can do it just down there by pressing that button as well. Or they can use the app if they're that way inclined. Look, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos as well. It's been great to be able to show you all underneath the carcass, how things are done. It's been really, really good fun. So I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I'll see you in next week's video, guys. Remember, if you wanna be part of this song that's about to happen, a beautiful tune selected by the AL Army, then click the link below. It's a very, very nice way for you to show your support for this channel and get involved in what actually happens on this channel as well. Plus you'll get really, really quick replies to any technical information that you need and you'll be able to see behind the scenes access as well. Anyway, I'll see you all in our next video. Remember, if there's one thing you've got to do, and I think you know what it is now, it's all, I can hear music. I think you know. Let's hold tight. I'll see you later. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye. Finally, I get to enjoy myself. In my ladder What can go wrong? What's the colors in my pocket, baby? The honey well there and there is weeping The fox is now a proper piece of sleeping And all the time the pocket there is weeping To chill on the plate and I'm being full Cause by the time I get my eyes will be a fool But don't worry, don't fear, it won't leak a lie Because at my gap I've installed the show star Show star, Open the show stop app, press the button and the leak stops. Show stop, show stop, show stop. I just get out my phone, open the show stop app, press the button and the leak stops. Show stop, show stop, show stop. What can I say? You saved my holiday. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna cry now. Oh, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please hit the old subscribe button and the notification eh? so you can make sure you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Check out my blog as well at Times of Jane. And also, become a patron and join us for next Thursday's AL Army live video where you can choose a song that I sing. Bye-bye.